I'm Janelle Riley, and you're watching Behind the Scenes. Um, welcome to part two of our interview with Mike Henry, the writer, producer. Uh, right, let's start again. Yeah. <laughs> Co-creator, executive producer, and star of The Cleveland Show. And you probably do the craft services, too. Out. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so do people want to know, like, you took sort of an unusual path, but how, mm -hmm. do they ask you, how do you get into voiceover? You know, I actually, yes, people do ask that, and when I, first was getting into acting and and voiceover I took a class out here and you know it taught taught you some stuff but you know basically all you need is a good in my opinion a good 60 to 90 second demo it's so simple you just do a different voice with a different background you cut them together nice and tight you know if you want to do an announcer or a narrator you know just just throw in a nice 15, 20 seconds, a chunk of whatever, and, and get the demo nice and tight. Get it to whoever you can, and you know, use sex if you have to. Um, no. <laughs> Gentlemen, I present to you the Peekaboo. Rollo? Where's the roller coaster? Chillax, it's right here. Put the beer on it. You mean this empty bottle? What? You drank the beer? Maybe. Give me a light. Do your characters ever have conversations with each other where you have to oh, go yeah. in and out? Yeah, we had a table read today actually which has the Brown family stuck in their house because there's a hurricane. So I play Cleveland and Rollo and you know, so I will often go back to back uh, a good number of times. But you know, the challenge is at the table and that's fun to do at the table reading. Um, and it usually goes pretty well. And then in the booth, I kind of do the same thing as I direct myself and you know, I'll, I'll just be going down a page and whatever. And then it's Rollo's turn to talk. Oh, Rollo, come on in. No, I'm not kidding you, man. And just, you kind of go back and forth. So, I'm just secretly crazy. Not so secretly. <laughs> when did you realize you had a gift for voices? You know, I always started imitating people at a very young age. I remember, you know, being seven, eight, you know, kind of mimicking my relatives at holiday things. and. Um, I've always just imitated friends and people and you know I find the best way to create a character in animation and, and probably in real life too is just listening. I mean you listen to people on the street and you start hearing things and like Herbert on Family Guy was just, he was just this nice old guy that bagged groceries at the local market when I was in high school. And I started talking like that, I would just imitate him, saying lascivious things, usually about women. But uh, then in the Family Guy writer's room, I pitched one joke about, Hey Chris, come on down to my cellar. Got a whole, whole freezer full, full of popsicles. So he turned into a pedophile. So basically what you do is you take something that's real and you twist it. Do these people ever know that you've paid tribute to them? Do you no. ever do their voice for them? No, well, I'm, you know, sadly I'm sure the man who, who inspired Herbert is long gone as, as I knew him when I was, I don't know, probably about 25 years ago and he was old then. And then the guy that Cleveland's voice came from was just a, literally a guy I met for an hour playing basketball and never saw him again. He said he was from Merlin. I was like, Merlin? He said, yeah, Merlin. Oh, Merlin. Yeah, Merlin. So, you know. If you're out there, hi. No, no, you don't want him to find you because he can hit you up for royalties at this point. I'll just deny uh, <laughs> that it was actually him. I think the pictures of the cats answer this question, but are you single? <sighs> I'm just trying to learn who I am without a man, but I think I might be able to do that better with a man. You know, leap year Virgos. <laughs> You know, Family Guy, the mantra is, get away with what you can get away with. We're going to be mean, we're going to be filthy, we're going to be edgy, everything else. And you just pitch and we all laugh and everybody's a bunch of assholes. You know, it just gets crazy. And so we wanted a little bit of that with Cleveland, but we wanted it to be a nicer show. We, wanted, we didn't want a carbon copy of Family Guy, which is why Cleveland got chosen. And I understand, while you may not look like Cleveland, you actually share quite a bit in common with him. Yes, we do. Um, you know, he, uh, he's from Virginia, he's mid-40s, he's once divorced, remarried. Um, you know, I think, you know, I don't know. He loves to have relations with his wife. Um, you know, just, he, he's a nice guy. He likes sports, he loves baseball. He's, you know, just, uh, he's a wacko. He's crazy, and uh, that's kind of me, I guess. I want to thank our guest Mike Henry for joining us uh, twice. And um, you're watching Behind the Scenes. I'm Janelle Riley. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.